Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. For those of you who are new, my name is Carla and today's video is going to be my jewelry collection. A lot of the pieces I have are generally more affordable and the pieces that I do have that are solid gold are things that obviously I'm going to keep for life. But since there are a lot of trendy jewelry pieces out there in the market, you don't necessarily want to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on every trendy jewelry piece. So that's why for a lot of the pieces I have, I did decide to go gold filled, which Etsy is the place to be if you're looking for gold filled jewelry. And since I've had most of my pieces for at least six to seven months and I've showered with them, I put them through the ringer, I think I can definitely give a good opinion on whether or not they're worth it. And Disclaimer, I think they are worth it. Okay, so first off, I just want to start with what's on my hands currently. And these are both solid gold pieces. One ring is from Anya Designs and it has diamonds and it's in rose gold. And one ring here, this is actually one of my mother's rings that I took from her. So like I said, this ring here is from Anya Designs and it was actually gifted to me by my sister as a graduation present and I will cherish it for life. I think gold jewelry or jewelry in general that can last forever is a great gift and I definitely appreciate it. Appreciate it. And this ring here is actually a piece that my mother bought. I think it was the first ever gold jewelry that she bought when she was 18, so it's very sentimental. It just looks like this. It's not necessarily something that I would go for in terms of buying, but because it is something that my mother owned and it's very sentimental, I wear it every single day without fail, along with my Anya Designs ring. So these are normally what I have on my hands. I am looking into getting a Cartier Love ring, but I don't really know if it's worth the price, especially since this ring that I got from Anya Designs was less than $1,000 and it's solid gold and it has diamonds in it. And I feel like the Cartier Love ring, I mean, you're definitely paying for the brand, but I, I might go for another solid gold band ring instead of paying, I think it's now $1,100. But let me know what you guys think about that. Next, we're going into my stackers. So I actually got this from the container store and it's really good when you get it on sale because you can stack a bunch of these together since there is space on the top. And I do have some stuff in here that I don't normally keep and I usually keep that on. This is what I normally use to store bracelets and watches, but I took them off and put them in there. And since we have it, these are a few headbands that I got from Amazon. This is a pearl one. It's super cute. I'm really into the turban headband style. And this is a black one. And this is one that I got from Nordstrom. All right, so let's hop right into it. I have quite a few pieces and this camera tends to overheat very quickly. So the lighting changes, please, please forgive me. For watches, I have this Seiko here that was given to me by my boyfriend. And I'd say this is my big girl watch. It does look like a Rolex date just, I think that's how you would call it. It is two-toned and I'd say the watch is in perfect condition. When I was going into work in the city, I wore it every day for work. Now, I probably haven't picked it up in months. So it has the day and the date and then obviously the time and it just looks like this. And it has Seiko on the back. That's probably the only part that's a little scratched, but every other part of it is in perfect condition, like I said. And I'm currently wearing a Fitbit, but this is just what it looks like on. So it's definitely a good dupe for the Rolex if that's a look that you're into. I definitely wish that Seiko made this in an all silver version, um, just like the Rolex, and I would definitely get that. But as you can see, I think it looks pretty good on my skin tone, and I don't really own anything silver, but because it is two-toned, I think it works really well with what I already have. So I only have two watches and this is the first watch that I ever bought. I bought this when I was 16 and I'm pretty sure it's a discontinued Marc Jacobs watch. I think it's called the Amy or something like that. So this is what the watch looks like on. As you can see, it's also super pretty on my skin tone, but I think these watches work for anybody's skin tone. But I do have a comment about this watch. I don't think they sell it anymore, so it doesn't even matter. But within three months of me getting this, the band actually became discolored in some of the rose gold plating came off. Other than that, it looks perfectly fine. I've had the battery switched and it's actually still running. So I got this, like I said, when I was 16. So I wore this all throughout high school and it was a great watch for that. Um, especially since, you know, Marc Jacobs was, you know, pop and designer watch to have. And I definitely was really proud of myself for being able to get this and this watch. If you're looking for a classic watch, I definitely recommend the Seiko. This, like I said, they probably don't sell it anymore, but if you're on your girl lady-ish, definitely this one. So I have 
this set of bracelets here from Primark. So this was only about $5 for the whole pack. And it just looks like that. I usually won't wear all of these at once. And I know there's been um, a few jewelry designers that come out with bead bracelets that look similar to this and they're like $90 for a bracelet. I don't know about you, but I'm not paying $90 for bead. I also got this bracelet from Primark at the same time as I got the beaded ones. And this is super cute. It's super light. It was like $3. The next few bracelets I have, this is from Goriana. It's just the paperclip link that's really trendy now. Um, I think I might actually get this in solid gold just because I think it's a super cute piece and it has this really cute clasp that honestly I feel like sometimes can be used as jewelry as well. Um, and it just closes like that. I would put it on, but I, I can't with one hand, I'm sorry. And then I have these two Kendra Scott bracelets here. I have not worn these in quite a while, but there was a time when I was wearing these every single day. I never got them wet, would not recommend getting Kendra Scott jewelry wet, but they are a little bit discolored. As you can see, the coloring on the little clasps are actually coming off, but it is a gold plated piece. Actually, all I have for bracelets, I'm not really a bracelet wearer. As you can see, I wear my Fitbit and that's about it. Next, I'm just gonna go into my necklaces. This is my first one. I actually got this when I think I was four years old from a family friend. It's a solid gold necklace, as you can see, and it just has a little heart charm on it as well. And like I said, I've had this since I was four. I kind of go on and off wearing it. The rest of my necklaces are either gold plated or gold filled. I'll start with a gold fill just because I'm sure that's probably what most people are interested in. This one is a gold filled necklace that I got off of Etsy. I'll put the seller um, information down below if you guys are curious. And I use a necklace extender with this just because it's a bit of a choker length. So as you can see, this one that I have on is actually gold filled as well. This one is actually shorter than this. So that's why I use a necklace extender. It is quite heavy and it hasn't discolored yet. And I've actually showered with this before and it's done just fine. I've had it since December of 2019 and there's no discoloration. It's not turning green. So I definitely say it's worth the price. This one is a bit more expensive. I think it came out just under $100 and I actually got this as a gift. So thanks family. While we're at it, this necklace here is gold filled as well and it's just the paper clip length and I wear this every single day. It has not changed color, which I very much appreciate. And it was a bit of a lower price than the last one I just showed you. I think it came in around $40 or a little under $40. And then I have this herringbone chain here. This necklace, again, I got it off Etsy and I believe it was under $30 and it has not changed color. I've actually had this for over a year. At this point, I've had it for a year and a half and I've showered with it plenty of times. I've gotten lotion on it and you just clean it and it looks brand new once again, as you can see. So I just clean it every once in a while when I get lotion on it and it looks brand new. There's no color changing. So I'm definitely a huge fan of gold build just because if the color isn't changing, what's the point of spending money on solid gold? Usually I feel like people go for solid gold because they want something that lasts long. But from my experience with gold filled jewelry, for the price, I think it lasts way, 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 way longer than I would expect it to. The next two are actually necklaces that are gold plated and from Goriana. This one here and this one here. I have a necklace extender on this. This one has the beaded chain on it. So it has these little balls. And then the charm that it came with is this right here. This is a compass. This one I believe is called the Parker. Or it's part of the Parker line. And it has a little paper clip link with some Pave cubic zirconia. So in my opinion, would I say Goriana is worth the price because both of these were at least $50 for gold plated. Um, I would not say it's worth the price. If you want instant gratification like I do, one day I was in West Village and I just wanted a necklace and I didn't want to order it off Etsy and wait. So that's why I purchased the one with the compass. But to be honest, for $60, you could probably get two gold filled pieces off of Etsy with the charms and it definitely be much better quality. Like I said, it is gold plated, so I probably wouldn't shower with it. I definitely have been guilty of showering with the Goriana pieces. They haven't changed color yet. For example, the one with the paperclip charm at the bottom, one of the little cubic zirconia stones actually fell out 
within probably a month of me owning it and that might have been $60. So while I do enjoy Guriana's pieces, I feel like they probably are trying to make a big profit because in my opinion, gold plated jewelry should not cost $60. All right, so that's it for my necklaces. In general, I would probably recommend going with gold build or solid gold with necklaces because if you're just as lazy as I am, you're probably not gonna take it off. And gold plated jewelry really goes to shit really fast if it gets wet. I'll just quickly show you guys some charms that I bought from Etsy as well. And they're all gold filled. I actually bought three and I lost one, unfortunately. Here's one charm that I have. It's just a C with Pave, cubic zirconia, and C for Carla, of course. This, I love these charms. They look so good. That one was probably $2. This is just a little Capricorn symbol with some Pave Cubic Zirconia. And both of those charms, I'd say were under $5. Super good pricing. Next, I'll just finish off my rings just because I don't have too many. And this one here is a little croissant. So this one here is a, another trendy piece. It's just a croissant ring. I know Majuri has one and I think it might be close to $90. This one I think was maybe around $30. It is gold plated, but I think rings are definitely way more easy to take off if you're gonna wash your hands or take a shower than a necklace or a bracelet. So I don't mind that. And then the only other ring I have is just this little rainbow one that I picked up from a mall in Los Angeles. It was $10. I'd say it's pretty crappy quality, but what can you expect? Like it's super discolored, but um, if you want one that's a bit more higher quality, Etsy has them, but I'm not sure if those are still trendy or not. All right, so that's all for my rings, necklaces, and bracelets. And last but not least, I have some earrings. I have a very deep love for earrings. A lot of my earrings are, you know, a combination of H&M earrings that you don't really need to spend that much money on. But I do have some pieces that I got from Etsy that are a bit more expensive, but once again, gold filled, so not that expensive. The first thing I'm gonna start out with are these hoops here and these are gold filled they will not change color like I said all the other gold filled jewelry that I have have not changed color I've had these since December I must admit I've not worn these a lot because this part here my ears are super fragile and they hurt um, but if your ear piercings are a little looser like you've worn heavier earrings for a while um, they shouldn't hurt these I believe were probably around $45 and they are much better quality than the Jennifer Fisher hoops just because I believe the Jennifer Fisher hoops are actually gold plated and they charge upwards of $250 for gold plated earrings guys listen don't play yourself okay just go on Etsy and you'll find everything you need so another pair of gold filled earrings I have are actually these and they are like a paper clip chain with pave detailing on the first and the last chain. Okay, so they look like this. I haven't had the chance to wear these really just because coronavirus and they were probably less than $20. Another pair of gold filled earrings. So the earrings that I showed last, these ones and the two charms that I showed are actually from the same Etsy seller and I'll try to link them below. Listen, I keep saying I'm gonna link it but it takes a lot of time to link things. These are the other gold filled earrings that I have. They're just little mini hoops and they have spikes and some very cute pave detailing on them as well. I haven't been able to wear these a lot. I haven't really been able to wear a lot of earrings just because I got my second ear piercing a few months ago and my ears are taking their sweet, sweet time to heal. But hopefully I can wear these soon. Final stretch. The reason why I ended up investing in these nicer pair of gold filled earrings are because I got these originally from H&M and as you can see, they are super discolored. So the plating on these have completely come off, but they were only about $3, so what can you expect? These are another little pair of H&M earrings. They just came in a set with like some two others that I didn't really like, but these are really nice. They have a good weight to them. So because I got my two piercings on my ear, I think this stack would look really cute together, but my ears are still trying to recover. And then I have these safety pin earrings. They have pave detailing. If you could see the trend, I love pave detailing and gold. These are not gold filled, but they haven't changed color. They haven't turned green or anything. And they were under $30. I think the safety pin earring trend, I personally think I will wear safety pin earrings forever. So eventually I might wanna invest in a solid gold and diamond version, but for now those are working just fine. The last few earrings I have are actually from Francesca's and they're just gold plated. 
Um, I believe Francesca's earrings are nickel free, so they don't irritate my ear, thank God. But I have these pair of rainbow bar earrings and they are super, super cute. And I used to wear these to work a lot and going out. And then I have these pair of Pave hoops. So these, mm, probably not the best quality just because they're turning green and I don't really understand why. I've never gotten these wet, they've just been out like that. I was actually all for the rainbow trend. So when I saw these earrings, they were definitely calling my name and they're definitely good for everyday wear. They're not too, you know, in your face or anything like that. And then these are the size of the hoops. Once again, just because they're big, I feel like they're still wearable to work. I would wear them to the office all the time. So I wouldn't worry about that. And for my last pair of earrings, these are actually the newest. These are little croissant hoops that my boyfriend gave me along with the croissant dome ring, which I very much appreciate. They are gold plated, so I probably wouldn't get these wet just because I want them to last. So this is what these look like. They're super cute, super dainty. And all right guys, that's all for my jewelry collection. Like I said, most of it is pretty affordable. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me below. And I know I said I would like stuff in the description bar, but it is a lot of work. So if you have a question about a specific thing that I showed, let me know and I'll be sure to link that down below. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below and if you have any video ideas from me that you would like to see make sure to comment those as well also i did have a twice weekly upload schedule before and i really did not follow it so from now on it's just going to be one video upload a week but like i said i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys on my next video Bye.